open AI launched themselves into the browser wars just after the folks from launched the Comet browser with a new browser called Atlas. It's a fork of the Chrome browser, so it looks a little bit similar, yet you've got the little chat GPT window over the side so it can see what you're doing. What do you make of this, Gordon? Yeah, I mean, I really like the first time experience of it. Um, personally, I have a, a couple of security concerns because obviously it has access to sort of everything you logged into. Uh, from a usability point of view, I think the most frustrating part of it is just Obviously, the ecosystem is not there yet. What I didn't try to do is install stuff from like the Chrome extension store. Um, but like logging into stuff, it's like I'm like leaving the browser to go fetch my credentials, which just felt very awkward for a sort of starting off point. Um, but overall, like using it and trying to summarize stuff, it was really good, especially on YouTube. Like some of the stuff that it pulled out of that context was great. Also tried it on Training Peaks. So I had mm -hmm. quite a, a complex training plan. And I was like, hey, can you tell me how much time this actually is? And it did a pretty good job at that. Yeah, I I also used it. I found that a couple of things didn't render the same as Chrome as the as it did on Atlas. But the interesting bigger take from this from me is that Chrome was always a play to own the client, getting all the you know, capture the client up at the, the at the browser window. Secondly, they get all the search data. So to me, this is the big strategic play into ads, which I think ultimately where uh, OpenAI is going to be and buying stuff online. And they have to start to get in front of the client because Google will have a very competitive uh, AI offering very soon. And we know that uh, Chrome is on most people's desktop. So this is a big play for me these guys will get this browser in everybody's hands, I think. Yeah, I think um, I was surprised to see when that launched. I was like, I'm sure, pretty sure uh, Google and Gemini has uh, has this already. And I was surprised to see that it didn't actually exist. I think it was just very fluid for me to bounce to Gemini all the time. Um, I think there's a lot of legs on this this idea. Um, I think just the security aspect needs to catch up to it, which, which it will in time. Um, sure. But yeah, I think it's going to be amazing. Need help with AI solutions? Click on the channel link and follow the link tree.